And the warm up is going to be what I said US uh, election, US presidential election. All right, so now what are we going to do about this election? So let me frame the question. The total, are you paying attention? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. good. So the total number of voters who voted in the presidential election is 150 million. 500 voters. If Biden received 51.5% of the votes, what is the total vote received by Trump? You said what percent? I didn't say percent. What is the total number of votes received by Trump? I mean, how many did Biden get? I gave the I gave Biden's number in terms of percentage. Biden got fifty one point five percent. Can you write it down, please? Yes. So I will write down not the entire grammar. I will write down the basic number that you need. So I said if a total of one hundred and fifty million five hundred thousand voted, 51. and Biden and Biden got. 51.5% of the votes. How many votes did Trump receive? You can ask this question in any form of grammar. You know, you can make the grammar to be better than this. Bottom line is the numbers, that's what, that's what counts to us. Okay? So yeah. you have two minutes. You can use your car, you can use your cell phone as a calculator to figure it out, or you use your TI-84 if you have one. I recommend you get one. So you have two minutes to figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, who got the solution? I do. Um, first name and give me the number you got. Autumn Gill. Well, okay. Autumn. Yes, so uh, what's the number of votes that Trump received? I got 72,492,500. Okay, 72,492,000. Did you say 500? Uh, yes. Okay. I just wrote what you said. I didn't, I'm not saying you are right or wrong. I just wrote exactly what you said. Next, who, did anybody get a different number or something? Or the same number? I got a different number. Yeah, please say it. Please say it, please. Seventy-two million seven hundred fifty thousand. Seventy-two million seven hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, who got something else? Or who got the same either the first one or the second one? Or another I thing? I got the second number. You got the second number? Mm -hmm. I got something else. Yeah, please say it, please. I got seventy two million nine hundred and ninety two. Hold on, 992,000. 500. Okay, thank you for the efforts. Thank you. You see, this is what I'm talking about. You make effort, then we check it out. So let's check it out. So now there are two numbers that uh, they gave us right here. These are suggested solutions. So let's work it together. Solution. So there are uh, how many numbers that are given to us here? There's three. Yeah, at least two. So we can say that total votes, total votes is equal to one five zero five zero 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 zero. zero. We can say percentage of Biden votes. These are the things that are given to us. Is equal to fifty one point five percent. So now the first thing we need to know is what is the number of votes that is equivalent to 51%? That's the first thing we need to know. So how do we get that? We will say that, what does percent mean? Percent, what is another way of describing percent? Of. I, I didn't hear you, please. Of or multiplication. Um, okay, can we say percent means per 100? Per hundred. So every hundred you count a portion of it. Every hundred you count a portion of it. That's what percentage means. So now we want to get 
the percentage of 150 million 500 the percentage of uh, this 51 that Biden got so we just say what 51.5 divided by 100 because that's per 100 then we multiply it by the total number which is 1505000000 so now i want somebody to use calculator and punch in this number and give me the result I just want this number. Just type in this number in, in your calculator. So what should be what you you should be pressing is fifty one point five divided by hundred. You press enter and then you multiply by one five zero five zero 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 zero. Or or you you press fifty one point five times uh, uh, one fifty million five hundred thousand. You press enter and then you divide by hundred. So in that way, give me the result. Did I see seventy three? What? Seventy seven million. Five, so hold on, hold on. Seventy seven million. Five hundred seven thousand. Five hundred and uh, seven thousand. And five hundred. And five hundred. I got the same thing just now. Okay. Good. Okay, so I'm 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 assuming that this is correct. Seventy-seven million five hundred and five thousand. I'm making the assumption and that's correct. All right. You want us to verify it again or move on? Sure. Okay, so let me get my calculator pulled up. Um so now let's clear the screen. So let's type five one point five. This is one way of doing it. Divide by 100, you hit enter. That's the percentage in fraction. Then multiply that by uh, 150 million. What's the number? Five, is it 500,000? Yes. 150 million, five, zero, 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 zero. Just make sure that in the number you typed is correct. Then you hit enter. Boom. So that's 77 million five hundred and seven thousand five hundred. Okay, thank you. Um, let's get back to this screen. So that means this number is correct. So now to get the Trump vote. So this is the vote for Biden. So Biden votes equal to seven seven five zero seven five zero zero. So now Trump vote is going to be Trump vote would be 150 million five hundred thousand minus seven seven five oh seven five hundred. So uh, do this one as well. Use calculator very quickly so that we can move on. Punch in the number, ladies and gentlemen. Seventy two million. 72 million, yeah, go ahead. 992,000. 992,000. 500. 500. So that's the Trump votes. Okay. And that's the solution. Okay, so let's do one more, a follow-up on this. A follow-up. For example, I was told, I was told, I'm just reporting what I was told. I was told that Trump is challenging the result, okay? So that means, yeah, there might be a recount. So now let's uh, work with a recount number now. Granted that, this is another question I'm, and I'm gonna give you two minutes. Granted that after a recount, Trump got, uh, if, let me put it this way, if after a recount, Trump received, received, um, 73 million 670. What is the percentage of Biden's votes? What would be the percentage of Biden's votes? Biden or Trump? Biden. I'm asking of Biden. What's the question? So when is still never mind. It's, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same with his uh, former percentage. So the, the percentage of Biden's vote now will be based on the recount. Because both of them 
um, if, for example, Trump is gaining on a recount, that means Biden is um, the, the votes, the total number of Biden's votes will be de uh, decreasing, right? And once you have a decrease, the percentage will also be decreased or it can increase depending on uh, who is uh, um, the recount is favoring. But you get the question right now because you have to get the question right before you begin to look for solutions. Did everybody understand the question? Wait, how do you find the um? How do you find percentage? Is that what you want to ask? Yeah. Percentage is the number you are given or divide by the total multiplied by 100. We are still working on we are still working on the total vote of uh, 150 million. The total vote cast is not still the same. It's just that when they recounted it, it is somewhere some votes were given to Biden, some to Trump, and then Trump's new number is seventy-three million six hundred thousand and uh, five hundred and seventy. So the question becomes, what is that percentage that represents that of Biden now after a recount? You say you divide it by the max. I mean the um, total number. Yes, percentage is number you are given divided by the total number multiplied by 100. I got it, Mr. Ukebu. Yes, so let me write what you say. I'm going to write uh, your solution. Then we will see. Yeah, go ahead. Percentage of Biden's vote is what? 48.9%. Biden, 48.9%. Okay. Who got the same thing or something different? I got something different. Yeah, what did you get? I got 51.1%. 51.1%. Okay, who got something else? One more person, please. Uh, you want me to call names? I can call names. I got 48.9%. Um, 48, Biden. Oh, same thing, same thing with this one. So I don't, there's no need of writing it. Any other number outside the one that is already written there? Okay, so let's check it out. Now, remember what I just said that how you get the percentage of, um, of percentage? So there are two ways you can do this. One, you can just get the percentage for Trump and then whatever you get as that percentage, subtract it from 100%, that will give you the Biden's uh, percentage. That's one way. Another way of doing it, the second option would be um, subtract 73,600,570 from 150,500,000. One that will give you the total new Biden's vote. Then based on that number, then you determine the percentage of it. So which option do you want us to use? I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, so let's um, let's use the first option first, at least. Option one would be get the Trump percentage. That's the first step. Then, then subtract, then subtract total votes. No, total percentage rather. Uh, hold on. Total percentage, which is 100, then subtract uh, total percentage minus from uh, percentage. So that will give you Biden percentage. Okay, so now let's try that. So now, how do we get the percentage for Biden, for Trump? We just say uh, his vote is 73 million six hundred thousand five seventy divide by the total vote which is one fifty million five hundred thousand then whatever that gives you multiply it by hundred that's how you get the percentage for for trump now let's punch in the number let's punch in the number ladies and gentlemen can you all see the two screens? Yes. Okay, so the, what I'm just going to do would be, I would just say uh, seven, three, six, 
zero zero five seven zero. Just make sure your number you're typing is correct. Then divide that by one fifty million five hundred thousand. Okay, just verify your numbers. How many zeros? One, two, three. Okay, that's correct. Then you hit enter. Okay, uh, that's 48 point, uh, then multiply by 100, multiply by 100, hit enter. So that's 48.9% for Trump. Okay, so Trump got, so Trump percentage is, which is Trump percentage. So that gives us what? Let's try the number. What do you, the number is, um, 48.9% is Trump. Okay, now for Biden, so Biden is gonna be 100% minus 48.9%. And what does that give us please? Uh, somebody said 51.1%, is that correct? Is that correct? Check, 100 minus 48.9. That's correct. 